Okay, so now we are uh, recording another live demo for you guys. Because after the the last video, the video is very long. And many, many people come across with some problems uh, how to make the Rico Theta Stitcher work on the 16-bit HDR DNG. So today, in this live demo section, I will show you specifically how to make the Stitcher work on the 16-bit DNG. I think you, ha you have definitely missed some details in your operations. Now I will show you step by step. The first step is that uh, you can see uh, I have my Ricoh Theta Z1 plugged into the my computer, right? And uh, you can see there you can see the do fish eye folder, right? Uh, you can copy and paste the, the folder directly to your computer, or you can choose the photos you want. But be careful with the uh, uh, with the files. You can see that that this is uh, yeah. You can see. Be careful with the file name, because this file is uh, r002 0001.dng. And the other one is the 16-bit HDR DNG files, exactly with the same file name, but with slash HDR. So when you copy and paste the files, uh, you, I want you to make sure that you click these two files together. Uh, not only, not only do uh, you, you can't only copy the HDR DNG, but you have to copy these two files together to make the because DJ work. Uh, now I can show you is uh, 11, 12, 13. So I will select these six files. But in fact, these are three panoramas, but six files. Copy and paste to this, to my PC, right? Okay. So uh, once you have copied all these files uh, to your computer, uh, you can you can open I uh, open the Lightroom and import the DNG files. But since uh, uh, the official this is uh, this one is the official DNG file, and this one is a 16-bit in-camera HDR stacking DNG files that was created by the Two Fish Eye plugin. So for Lightroom, you can you can only import the HDR DNG files. You don't have to import the official DNG files since they have already uh, located in the same folder. So we can uh, directly import these three files and uh, and the fine tuning the, for example, this one, and fine tuning in the Lightroom and uh, directly stitch in the Ricosia Stitcher. Because once the Stitcher uh, have some input, the Stitcher will search in the same folder if there is a official DNG files. Uh, to certify that this is this is an image created by the Cita Z1. Now we have the official DNG. So uh, after the fine tuning, okay, for example, like this, you can see the dynamic range improves a lot. And after that, you can uh, directly edit in the Cita's teacher. Edit copy with Lightroom adjustment because they will create uh, a TIFF file you can see that this file they will create a TIFF file for you and the CETA teacher will search for if there is an official the number 12 DNG and if they found they found it if they find it and the CETA teacher will work and help you to stitch the, the DNG file and you can uh, correct the stitching and do whatever you want okay so that is how to make the Rico stitch work. Click on OK and it will be stitched into a panorama. And, that, and after that, you can do more fine tuning on your image. So that is exactly how to make Cita stitch work. Uh, the important step is you have to make sure that you copy the all the DNG files from the do fish eye folder to your PC folder. And you have to make sure that the every panorama consists of two DNG. The official DNG was designed, was saved 
they will save to make the seat stitcher work. But the HDR DNG is for you to do the post processing. So that is a very tricky, very tricky part. And uh, that's how you make the recall stitcher work. I hope this video will help you solve your problems and the final finally you can make very the best use of the dual fish eye plugin. So that's all for this live demo section. Thanks guys.